Hey everybody, it's the Misfit. And I have been saying since the, I left the movie theater that I've been wanting to do a review on the movie Studio 666. And after the tragic loss of Taylor Hawkins yesterday, um, I figured there's no better time than right now to do it. So, me and Darby, there's Darby, I uh, was gonna do our tribute to Taylor Hawkins today by reviewing this great horror comedy, Studio 666. You ready, Darby? Alright, let's get to it. Alright, if you don't know, Studio 666 is a horror comedy made by these guys. These guys are the Foo Fighters. And if you don't know who the Foo Fighters are, what rock have you been living under for the last 20-some years? The Foo Fighters is an amazing band started by that guy that's screaming right there, Dave Grohl. Dave Grohl is a musical genius. He can play anything, he can do anything, he's Dave Grohl. You give the man the mad respect he freaking deserves. Now, Dave Grohl started this band called the Foo Fighters, and their videos were hilarious. They would do mini movies in their Foo, in their Foo Fighter videos, like in My Hero, and Big Me, and Learning to Fly. And basically, any Foo Fighter video that you watch is basically a mini movie. So, these guys decide, what the hell? We've been making mini movies for a long freaking time. Why not? Let's just make a real freaking movie. I know, it does sound like, you know, the obvious, you know, conclusion, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Darby's on board. Good. It's always good to have Darby on board. No, not your skateboard. On board. It means you agree. <sighs> Anyways. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but has anybody else noticed that Dave Grohl looks like the uh, drummer from Nirvana? No, I'm just kidding. That's an old joke. I ain't gonna do that. I don't gonna do that. Yeah, I know you thought I was really gonna do that stupid joke. Nah, that's too old. Anyways. Yes. Dave Grohl star in Nirvana. Everybody knows that. Rest in peace, Kurt. And after Kurt passes away, he starts the Foo Fighters. And then the Foo Fighters do this. Yes, Foo Fighters present Studio 666, the horror comedy starring a band we never knew we needed. But we did, trust me. This movie is freaking hilarious. <clears throat> it starts off that the Foo Fighters are making their 10th album. And, you know, guess what? They have writer's block. They don't know what to do, man. You know, the 10th album has got to be freaking you. Just got to, like, blow the roof off the music industry. So they decided to, you know, what are we going to do, man? <laughs> no, not a lot of drugs. Well, that's the wrong rock band. Shut up, Dari. They're going to go seclude themselves like the great uh, Led Zeppelin did and Fleetwood Mac did. And <laughs> Yes, I know there was a lot of drugs in those ones. But that's besides the point, Darby. Anyways. So, they decided to get this mansion. The problem with the mansion is, people were murdered in there. And not only people. A rock band! <gasps> yeah, I know. The plot's weak. But I loved it. It's supposed to be it's a parody of bad horror movies. A parody of good horror movies. A parody of bad good horror movies. Yes, there can be... Yes, they are the same. Hilarious. They do all the, you know, overdone horror movie stuff. The creepy neighbor, the fanboy delivery boy. This stuff is freaking hilarious. Okay, so they're in this house and everything, and, you know, they're trying to write the song. Dave's getting a writer's block, blah, blah, blah. And then the crap hits the fan. Yes, demons! Demons from the bowels, pits of hell, and all this stuff. And all this fun... Okay, if you're scared, you don't have to. You don't have to watch this part. Uh, get, get out right of the chair, Darby. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, the demons come and they possess Dave. And we're not gonna tell you too much about it, but it's hilarious. It's gory. It's funny. It is Dave Grohl at his best. It's all the Foo Fighters at their best. It is just plain fun. Yes, Dave Grohl possessed. Doing a parody exorcist. Gotta love that. And this is where the best line of the whole movie comes from. Ugh. Uh, no more uh, oatmeal beer bongs for Davey. <laughs> I don't know. That, that line just made me laugh my ass off. I don't know why, but it did. It is a funny, funny line and a funny-ass movie. Oh, look at Dave looking all, you know, handsome and everything. And everything. He just, you know, look at Davey. <laughs> Darby, it's okay. It's just a picture of Dave, girl. It's just makeup. 
it's okay. Darby, calm. Darby, Darby. It's all right. All right. But anyway, you know, Dave gets possessed. I'm not going to tell you how it ends because you got to go out and see Studio 66. It is a funny, funny movie. And let's be honest, Pat Smear stole the whole movie. That guy was just comic gold. All right. So anyways, this was Misfits Review of the Foo Fighters movie, Studio 666. It is an amazing, funny, B horror movie. You'll love it if you love that kind of thing. And if you don't, why are you even watching this? Anyways, you have a great day. Go check out Studio 666. Peace. Go be nice to each other. <laughs>